Hi guys. Well, still a little bit smoky. A little bit smoky, but it is a balmy. It is a balmy 50 degrees here in the morning of Friday, June 9th, 2023, here in Paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Maybe we will break 60 degrees here on uh in the summer of 2023 the coldest summer i have ever experienced in my entire life noticing that the northeast united states is one of the most below normal temperature places on the planet don't know if that has anything to do with the wildfire smoke global dimming or not but anyway we're not here to talk about global dimming because it is Friday so it sounds like one person on a planet of 8 billion people <clears throat> has uh, noticed that I have not been doing my manga bay roundup rants on Friday my ecological meltdown roundup rants I think it was Six weeks ago, I decided to pause the manga page to see how long it would take one human being to request that uh, I resume my single worst rated uh, rant that I do. I think the Manga Bay Roundup rant, more than any other rant that I do every week, is the single most important uh, environmental chronicle of the collapse that I do each week and nobody even in the doomosphere cares to hear what Manga Bay has to say about the collapse of a planet uh, but anyway <clears throat> I'm sorry brother I cannot remember who the concerned listener was who asked that I resume so we are going to uh, since we have such a thundering demand to bring you the number one most important uh, chronicle of the collapse that I do every week <clears throat> we're going to do just that and I love it we're going to start out with a question my favorite headlines is when Manga Bay asks a question. We're going to go down to Argentina's Grand Chaco Forest, the biodiverse Grand Chaco Forest in Argentina, where we are being asked the question, can the European Union's deforestation law save Argentina's Gran Chaco from soy? The answer to the question, can the EU's deforestation law save Argentina's Gran Chaco from soy, uh, needs to be rephrased because the, the answer to that question is irrelevant. It needs to be rephrased. Can the EU's deforestation law save Argentina's Gran Chaco from humans? And the answer to that question is no, it cannot. The EU's deforestation law cannot save Argentina's Gran Chaco forest or any other forest on planet Earth from humans and now I notice four minutes into my rant my battery light is telling my me my camera is ready to collapse so I'm just going to keep going until the camera collapses and global industrial civilization shuts down okay from Argentina to Cambodia License to log, Cambodian military facilitates logging on uh, all over the place. Uh, <clears throat> Cambodia's largest island is covered in largely untouched old growth forest. Hmm, but recent satellite imagery shows deforestation is spreading. 
Yep, yep, yep. Uh, this is the uh, the Navy. Why would the Cambodian Navy be probably to sell wood chips either to the European Union for biofuels or for bugs in a jar's kitchen floor? Um, okay. <clears throat> Here is... We're going to skip over the hopium. Uh, here is Tibetan ecosystem legislation. Yes. A landmark legislation. <coughs> uh huh. Alright, here's how Malawi, uh, how, how Malawi is, uh, saving the planet. This looks like a pretty hopium-soaked, uh, first how China is saving the Tibetan plateau from humans, and then we have an article how the sub-Saharan shithole country of Malawi is uh, saving the planet. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, okay, let's get back to reality. Let's go back to Southeast Asia. A Southeast Asian marine biodiversity hotspot is also a wildlife trafficking hotbed. <clears throat> a recent report documents the seizure of 25,000 live animals and more than 120,000 metric tons of wildlife parts. Jesus. From the Sulu and Celebes seas between 2003 and 2021, animals traffic include rays, sharks, and turtles, mostly between Indonesia, the Philippines, and Malaysia. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we've been hearing about the uh, fires in Canada. What's going on in Mexico? Intense fires threaten water supply and habitats in Mexico's Pico de Orizaba. <clears throat> For four days in February, an intense forest fire ravaged the border of Pico de, de Orizaba National Park in Mexico with 40% of the affected area lying inside the protected park. Yep, yep, yep. Um, here is the geography of environmental degradation in the Amazon, Manga Bay has begun publishing a new edition of the book, A Perfect Storm in the Amazon, by Timothy Killeen. Uh, anyway, I really, I know I need to start interviewing again, guys, and, uh, but I am just so busy, uh, here being a vacation rental host, uh, it is cutting into my Doomer career. Okay, would you believe that mechanized destruction of Brazil's Amazon is rising? Yep, yep, yep. Do you know that one hydraulic excavator, whatever that is, can perform the same work in 24 hours as three men would take to do in 40 days. Yet the wider costs are higher. It is estimated that each kilogram, I think that's about 2.2 pounds, 
Each kilogram of gold illegally extracted from indigenous and territories in the Amazon generate about $400,000 in damages. How can you put a price tag? I I anyway, they're always putting price tags. Uh, all right. We are cleaning up a lake in Sumatra. Good for you. Uh, okay. What's going on with sea sand expert, exports? Experts and activists unite to blast Indonesia's U-turn on sea sand exports. Indonesia will resume exporting sand dredged from the sea, commonly used in reclamation projects, ending a 20-year ban on the projects. Uh, environmentalist activists and marine experts say the resumption caters only to business interest hmm, and fails to consider the damage to marine ecosystems and fishing communities. Yes. Warfare for wildlife. Yes, anyway, talking about how all of these countries are bringing in their militaries to save the planet. I'm sure uh, the U.S. military is one of the great uh, planet saviors working today. Uh, all right. What's going on with eucalyptus expansion in Brazil's Cerrado? Uh, here is the Timberland Investment Group, owned by investment bank BTG Pactual, is expanding its planted forest operations in the Cerrado. Yes. Oh, boy. More green washing. Yes. Okay, we have... I can get behind this one. Uh, is the Baobab tree planting. Extreme <coughs> reforestation. Baobab planters confront fires, loggers, cattle, and more in Madagascar. The bushfire season wreaks havoc on the southwest and west of the island. Um, we have a man on the ground in Madagascar here at Collapse Chronicles, our old buddy uh, <coughs> Jeremy Jimenez who I interviewed last week is in Madagascar right now. He was just emailing me about the baobab trees. I think we're going to have to bring Jeremy on the show when he gets back from sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, I think he's going to be back in the next couple of days. So we, we will, I'm making a commitment to bring uh, Brother Jeremy back on the show to tell us about his tromp through sub-Saharan Africa. Um, here is another story on militarized conservation. The militarization of conservation has been heavily criticized <coughs> by social scientists indigenous rights activists and NGOs. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> okay. What is going on in Ecuador's marine reserves? Take a wild guess. Illegal fishing for fish meal widespread in Ecuador marine reserves. Industrial fishing, you know, for fish 
is prohibited in coastal waters, uh, these marine reserves in Ecuador. Uh, yet, more than half of the <clears throat> government alerts for unauthorized fishing in Manabee occurred within the marine reserve. Local residents say industrial ships enter the, re the reserve's waters to illegally harvest small fish like anchovies and sardines for processing into fish meal despite a government order prohibiting this practice. They say the fish are dwindling, reducing food for people and wildlife alike. And you can be sure this is going on in marine reserves all over the planet. Okay, here, here's the knee slapper of the day. Sumatran indigenous community displaced by Samsung palm oil <clears throat> development await justice. Hmm. They can keep, they have been waiting for more than 25 years. They are still waiting for justice by this palm oil land grab by the Samsung Corporation. What is Samsung doing dealing with palm oil? Citizens demand sustainable solution to haze crisis in northern Thailand. Haze crisis in northern Thailand? How about a haze crisis in uh, New York, baby? Yeah. I guess it's looking in Thailand like it is here, but of course the what's going on in Thailand and all these other places is not wildfires started mostly by lightning. It's you know humans setting their fields on fire after they harvest. That this is 100 uh, percent what's going on with that smoke haze pollution is 100% preventable. That smoke is caused by humans setting fire to the planet. Uh, okay, did you realize that the Congo Basin is home to the world's second largest rainforest, but it, like the world's largest rainforest and the world's third largest rainforest, is under increasing strain from development, logging, mining, and other pressures otherwise known as humans. Yep, yep, yep. Uh... Well, I'm not sure about this. Global study of 71,000 animal species finds 48% are declining. Um, globally, 48% of species are decreasing. 49% remain stable, and just 3% of species are rising. Of course, humans being the number one of those, and probably rats and anything dependent on humans. Uh, most of the losses are concentrated in the tropics. Extinctions skyrocketed worldwide with the onset of the Industrial Revolution, especially since World War II, when resource extraction and consumption rates by humans soared, and the planet saw exponential growth in human population to 8 billion people by 2022. Habitat destruction, especially in the tropics, is the major driver, but a confluence of human activities ranging from climate change to wildlife trafficking, 
hunting invasive species, pollution, and other human-related causes are combining to drive animal declines. The research also revealed that one-third of now non-endangered species are also in decline. Do you think so? Uh, would you believe that Indonesia's peatlands, hmm, a carbon trove, are mostly unprotected? Uh, covering a combined area of nearly twice the size of Belgium. These peatlands are completely unprotected. Uh, here is a prominent Vietnamese environmentalist has been arrested facing charges of tax evasion. Yes, another leading environmentalist, Goldman Environmental Prize winner, whose name I can't pronounce, was also jailed on tax evasion charges. What is going on with pangolins? Do you believe there's still a pangolin uh, left on this planet? Shocking level of pangolin deaths from electric fences. Pangolins are considered the world's most trafficked animals and despite the massive illegal trade, South Africa loses more pangolins each year to electric fences than the wildlife trade. Yep, yep. Uh, would you believe that a majority of Brazil's Congress votes to restrict indigenous land advances? Brazil's controversial bill was overwhelmingly approved by the country's lower house by representatives and farmers including allies of Save the Planet President Lula. Uh, the bill reduces the area of indigenous lands and opens indigenous areas to mining and infrastructure projects, according to other changes. Uh, proponents of the bill argue that more land should be given to farmers in economic development projects than to the original uh, Asian invaders. Uh, here is spotlighting oil majors ecocide of the Niger Delta. Uh, quote, we are at a tipping point that really needs massive international uh, resources and attention. Yep, yep, yep. Nearly 30% of all tree cover in Africa may be outside of forests. Don't know even... Huh, that's pretty weird. Uh, and more from Brazil. Brazilian Congress moves to block Lula's environmental agenda. The Brazilian Congress approved a series of actions to dismantle the new president's ambitious environmental agenda, including attacks on indigenous people's rights and stripping powers of ministers. Uh, Anyway, 
I can't believe my camera is still holding up, but I'm going to wrap it up here. I can't believe the camera made it 25 minutes because it's actually starting to rain here. I am thrilled to say maybe I will get some water in my rainwater collection system for the first time since I built it a month ago. So anyway, I hope you're thoroughly depressed now after the first Manga Bay roundup in over a month and uh, get out there and enjoy your smoky skies while you still can. Bye, guys.